Welcome back for another tutorial on Mono Game. This one's going to be about loading sounds and music. So sounds and music are important. They can make your game feel so much more immersive. Um, if you need to make your own sounds and you don't want to use AI, here's a few options for sounds and music. You can use whatever way you want, but just make sure that if you're using somebody else's sounds or their songs, that you correctly um, give them credit for it by attributing them as required in whatever their license is for using their songs. Let's get started and let's go ahead and add the sounds. So the first thing you want to do is right click on content, add new folder, name sounds, right click on that, add existing item, and we're going to go up to where our files are, and we're going to select our sound. So, lasershoot.wave. Now that we have the song added to the content folder, we need to open up the content um, library, content tool, and we need to actually compile this. So, right-click on content, add existing item. We're going to select the sound that we've imported into the content folder. If you click on the sound itself, you can see that it's importing a sound effect. That's what we want. That's how you know it's working. And then we can save it and we can build it to make sure that there's no errors. And we can see that it has actually built it. We're good. Close that. And now we can start adding the code. So we're going to add in a variable. This variable is so that we can store the sound effect somewhere. We're going to add another variable. This one is specifically so that we can control the volume of all the sound effects in one location. And then we're going to load that file into memory. Now I'm using an at symbol at the front. This allows us to not have to worry about escaping special characters like the slash. Finally, let's add the code so that when the spacebar is pressed, it will play the sound that we've loaded. All right, I'm going to run this. Once it gets done building and compiling and running, um, caution on your ears. You can see that the sound is playing over and over on top of itself if we just hold down the space bar. And that's not what we want. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do this, but one of the ways is to use a little bit more advanced content called a sound effect instance so we can control and only play the sound if it's not already playing. Let's do that now. So we're going to use the same sound file and the same sound effect. We're just going to create a new, um, a new object type called a sound effect instance. And this sound effect instance is going to allow us to control the volume separately, check to see the state of the sound, is it playing or not. Um, we can even do 3D audio, so we can place the sound specifically where we want to place it. But that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be using this as a way so that we can make sure that uh, we only play the sound once and we don't overlap the sound on top of itself. So we're going to create an instance or a copy of the laser effect. Now that we've done this, we can actually play the sound, but we'll only play it when we press the I key and it's not currently being pressed. All right, let's see how this works now. We'll press the I key once it loads up and we should hear the sound played only once at a time. So now the sound is only playing when we're not, um, when it's not playing. So you don't hear the sound playing and then right in the middle of the sound, the sound starts playing again. We're only playing it once. We're not playing on top of itself like we were with space right here. All right, now let's add some music to the game. So for that, we need a music file, a longer file, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to right click on content, add new folder. We're going to call this one music. Right click, add existing item. We're going to go find that song. In this case, I've just named it simple song. 
Now that we have it added to the content, we need to once again go into the Content Manager. And then we need to right-click, Add, Existing Item, go down into that Music Directory, select your song, and again, we're just going to make sure, let's go here and see, it's now a song, and that's correct. So we could change this to something else if, if we determined this was wrong, but it is a song, and we do want it to import as a song, so we're it's it's finding the right thing to import. Save, and again, build just to make sure. You can see it's got a green check mark, so it did actually build the song. And now, let's add the code so we can play the song. We're going to create a variable to store the, um, the song in memory. Then we're going to actually load the song from file into memory. Again, we're using that at symbol so we don't have to do two slashes to escape the slash. And finally, we're going to play the song only when we press the music M key, or M key, and it will stop it if it's playing, and it will start it and set it on repeat if it's not playing. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Again, I'm going to press spacebar first, I and hold that, and then now I'm going to press M to start the music. Very basic, not very advanced, but now you should be able to have music and sound effects in your game. There's many resources that you can go look at. The official documentation explains how the um, how these different classes work, how the sound effect object, sound effect instance object, song, etc. work. Um, so if you want to look into more details on how it works, you can go there. Last thing I'll say here is that if you have a specific topic in MonoGame you'd like me to cover, or C++, uh, or one of the other languages or libraries that I've been using in the past, just post a comment down below and I'll... Uh, I'll add it to the list of tutorials. Thanks.